Alright, welcome to episode 3 of Recreating Cave Story in Unity. So, this time we're going to work on mapping, and we're going to use this tile set here just to start with and um, create a basic level, and then later we'll add in more tile sets, but today we're just going to work with this one. And this is the cave tile set. Uh, you might notice that this is the tile set in the first level of the game. And um, how we're going to handle collisions is... Um, we're actually going to use the sprite colliders and we're going to set that inside the actual sprite editor and you can see here that not a lot of sprites here actually have colliders so it's not going to be as tedious as you might think to manually do those out and the result will be that if you draw it out with the unity built-in tile map solution then it just works so yeah we're gonna try and get that to work out and yeah let's jump into unity all right so first thing we're gonna do is get rid of the little camera target sprite here because we don't need that anymore and the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this environment which has these blocks right here and we're just gonna delete this okay so now let's go under textures sprites maps and find prt cave okay cool so now um make sure that these settings are the same you want it to be sprite mode multiple with 16 pixels per unit mesh type is tight and you want to make sure that generate physics shape is enabled um clamp point and rgba 32 bit all right cool now we're going to open it up and this is what it looks like. So we have all these sprites here. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want colliders. We're going to want custom colliders for um, the sprites here that are going to collide. So we're going to go to custom physics shape. Okay. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to go to these ones and make sure that the sprite shape matches how we want it to be. So for these angled ones, we want it to be a continuous slope over here. Even if it doesn't match the sprite itself perfectly, that's what we're going to want. So we're going to hit generate here, and that's going to make something like this. So first, we're just going to delete this one. So click that and hit the delete button. Then take this and drag it up so that it's about since these are 16 by 16 pixels, you want it to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 pixels up. Cool. And for this one, I'm going to want to do the same thing. Generate, but delete this and delete this. And pull this up to the same position. And then just click between them so that you can see how it looks. And make sure that that point is in the same position. So, um, yeah, you're just going to repeat that for all the rest of these. I'm just going to speed through myself doing that. All right, great. So um, make sure you apply it and then you can X out of it. So the next thing we're going to do is... Um, we're going to create a folder called data and under data, we're going to put another folder called maps and under maps, we're going to have a folder for tile sets, right? And another one for palettes. So now open up the window for tile sets. So it's called tile palette. Here it is. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new palette, call it um I don't know, cave palette. And that's great. Create it. And we're gonna put that under palettes. And now in order to get the tiles here, go to textures, sprites maps and go back to prt cave 
and just drag that in and now it's gonna ask us for where we want all of our you know tiles to go so go back to data maps tile sets and let's create a new folder actually called PRT cave and now it's gonna generate all of our tile assets all right sweet so we're going to first make sure that the colliders are working fine so first um oh wait actually we have to make an actual um tile first so tile map create a tile map and it's going to make a grid here okay so under the grid we have the tile map and we're just gonna paste this in here all that now for this tile map make sure that it has a tile map collider 2d okay cool so right off the bat we're gonna see that we have a lot of unwanted colliders like this stuff isn't gonna collide that's just background these rocks and stuff shouldn't collide so what we want to do is we want to go to maps tile sets prt cave and we want to select all of these and change the collider type to none so now there's no collisions and we're just going to go one by one and pick the ones where we do want collisions and change them accordingly so prt0 we want this to be a grid collision because it's just a block then these four that's going to be one two three four one two three four we want those to be sprite all right now if we go back you'll see that that's working five six seven eight are also going to be sprite go back to top map so that's working then five seven eight nine ten eleven we're also going to want those to be sprite 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 17 through 20. I'm going to want those to be sprite. 21, 22, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 26 and 27. We're going to want those to be sprite. And then nothing else collides except for these two babies. So 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. We go down to 40, 41. Change these to grid. Now if you look back at our time map, our collisions are working great. Everything that we want to collide is working great. So we can actually erase this. And let's just draw up a simple little level here. Maybe we'll have some blocks, right? Maybe then we'll have a slope here. Just to check out that slopes are working and maybe like a little bit of a ceiling here that also is gonna have like that so we can jump into it, see if that works. And maybe this guy over here and yeah. So let's test it out. And you're going to see that quote falls right through it. So the problem with this is that these tile maps, these tiles aren't actually marked as obstacles for a quote to collide with. So we have to put them under obstacles. And now if we play the game, you'll see that quote collides with them and you can go up the slopes and jump into it. So it's working just as intended. So there's one issue right there though, that quote is getting covered by the background. So how we fix that is we're going to want to put these tiles on a different layer than quote. So for the sorting layer, we're gonna have a couple different layers. Um, we'll say maybe background one, Background two, player, 
and then a foreground layer. Okay, so first we're gonna make sure that quote is on the player layer, and then we're gonna put tiles all on background one. Because we're gonna put the actual like background of the level on background two. So now you can see that quote goes behind it, and it's great. Sweet. So yeah, that's how mapping works. And you know, you can draw more complicated levels. You know, I mean, that's pretty bad, but you can have different props like that. Maybe some chains like this. And yeah. So that's going to be it for this episode, and um, I'm not sure what we're going to do next time, but we might actually start getting into guns, but yeah, just make sure to like and subscribe, you already know the deal, and um, yeah, thanks for watching, hope to see you guys next time.